going on guys welcome rabbit here and i picked up amd's latest flagship cpu or is it the 9950x so uh the box is definitely a lot small look at this thing it is absolutely tiny the size of this box this is essentially a thousand dollars canadian box right here i hope this is some good quality trees and well i don't even know all right, so here we do have the CPU Ryzen 9 9950X. I'm going to have to get this thing installed into this motherboard. I only got one because I want to see how well it does first. I already updated the BIOS and everything as we did see in a previous video. So these ones are ready to go. We just got to get the CPU in and the cooler and we plug it in. All right, guys, so it is all hooked up and I tested a bunch of coins. There's still a couple that I'm missing here, but I also feel like I haven't fully tweaked this thing out because I think AMD is doing some crazy voodoo stuff here and we're getting extremely low voltages and it's absolutely insane. So we're going to jump into the BIOS here. I'm going to go through the settings first. I know a lot of you guys just probably want to skip on over to the hash rates, but there's some other things we got to talk about before we see those. All right, so the first thing is if you saw my build video, I am running the latest stable version that supports 9000 series and that is F30 but after that two more biases are in beta here which improve RAM compatibility as well as Ryzen 9000 series performance optimized so we may see even better maybe possibly uh, performance with some of these other biases which I do want to try also later on but I never like to really use beta biases I usually like to wait till they go stable but I think we could see even better performance probably using Using one of these all right so let's kind of look at my settings and what i use for my testing here and obviously with xmp profile we turn that on and we enable high memory bandwidth support now when it comes to the clock settings we do know this is a 4.3 base clock it's actually nerfed from the 7950x's 4.5 base clock when depending on silicon lottery is depending how low you can go on your voltages and stuff now i don't know if i have a super king of silicon here or if amd did some actual voodoo so if you have one of these let me know down in the comment section what you guys may have tried or maybe you're gonna try but i got this thing down to a core voltage of 0.89 where a 7950x was about 0.95 at its base clock to 0.97 until it was you know kind of stable there but yeah this thing went down all the way to 0.989 volts right here and then actually for minotaur x i did have to bring it up to 0.9 because it didn't want to run on that but that is extremely low for a base clock and then the other set of settings is the amd overclocking with pbo now this is where i am starting to think now amd either did some insane voodoo or we definitely got to wait for the x870 motherboards for the new pbo3 that is coming because i don't know i i bought them this thing out and i feel it can go even more but i am limited to this motherboard so if we go into my vram settings and everything here cpu v core so this is your load line calibration i pretty much got it set at the largest voltage drop here as we can see if we go to extreme we come in and you can kind of see how our voltage just changes it's more of a straighter line but it's still under volting but I am pretty much down to where it drops it the most. Now, if I actually come into my settings here and I go into AMD overclocking, accept this, and I go into precision boost overdrive, curve optimizer, uh, and I'm at a negative 60, and I cannot go anymore. If I try to go into negative 65, input invalid. If I try negative 61, invalid so i am maxed out in the negative curve that i can add this thing and usually the lower you go in your curve the higher the hash rate the better boost you kind of get out of your cpu it's also putting in the lowest voltages and i am completely stable at this that's why i'm feeling this thing is kind of shining in pbo mode and i feel the next motherboards that come out may push this thing to some crazy levels now that you kind of see where my settings are i still have a lot of other things to try there might be some other tweaking options available here and yes i am also in eco mode when using pbo so let's take a look at the numbers and see what you guys think all right so now let's jump into some of the numbers because i'm sure that's all a lot of you guys care about but keep in mind i i don't know what's going on here i still have a lot of tweaking do i feel there's some other things i need to find out in that motherboard that may get even better performance but right now we can see with random x so that is your zep your monero uh, you know, your Selvium, everything on the random X algorithm. We can see with the 4.3 at 0 0.89 volts, we were about 21.2 kilo hash at 164 watts. So about the same hash rate as a 7950X and doing it at about, 
I don't know, anywhere from 5 to 10 watts less, which isn't massive because this is a more expensive CPU. But here we are with the PBO minus 60 curve in eco mode, 19.4 kilohash at only 140 watts. So that's a decent power drop here. Not much of a hash rate drop, but I feel like we could probably still push this thing a decent amount more. Uh, coming into Spectre here with the latest binary miner, which is the hash rate boost one. We do have a PBO curve minus 60 eco, 28 kilohash at 130.9 watts, and then the 4.3 at 0 0.89 volts was 31.2 kilohash at 147 watts. So about the same hash rate here, but I don't know about the power because this came out after I did my initial testing with the rusty miner and stuff. So again, I have to go back, retest 7950X and stuff, and try a whole bunch of settings, and then I'll actually do comparisons and stuff later on uh coming into various hash here which is various coin we can see with the pbo and everything we got 51.04 kilohash 131.3 watts and srb is 4.3 uh, 0.89 volts, we got 50.61 mega hash at 130.7 watts. Now coming into Minotaur X Pulsar, I did have to up my voltage a little bit, as I mentioned, to 0 0.9. Uh, that did see 27.91 kilohash at 170 watts. But PBO here, we did see 25.3 kilohash at 133 watts. Coming into Flex, which is Kyla coin and Ling coin and stuff. PBO minus 60 curve eco is 4.66 kilohash, 133.6 watts. And with SRB 4.3, we can see 3.7 kilohash at 97.3 watts. So there was a pretty decent difference using the two modes on this one. Uh, and Cubic, which is, you know, this is the AVX512 performance. It's just a really horrible week this week. So we don't really know how well this is doing. They nerfed all the hash rates. As we know, every week they change their mind on what the algorithm is going to do and it is a very low hashing algorithm this week so we'll have to maybe check it out next week but here we can see pbo minus 60 eco mode is only 25 it's per second at 140 watts and i am using the ally pool for their miner and everything for these tests 4.3 giga hash at 0 0.89 volts was again 25 it's but actually using less power at 131 watts and just to kind of match that up with something i think a 7950x is around 25 it's also and a 4090 is currently only at like 27 it's so you know the hash rate is low on gpus and cpus here so it's not a good week to do any testing on cubic and that is as of august 15th on epoch 122 so this is what i got for numbers right now and again guys i'm gonna have to retest the 7950x pretty much with the same settings here and see you know what i can do to compare versus it. i also want to try the pbo and everything on the 7950x i want to try to update the bios and try the 9950x again and i want to go through it and look for new settings to tweak here and also try different rams to see what may happen but i really feel we might need the newer motherboards to really see the CPU shine. And that's not going to come out till sometime next month, I think. But, you know, again, I'm up in the air and we're really going to have to wait and see. So that's where we're at right now for some initial hash rates. Ghost Rider is going to take another couple days, guys, maybe at least a week because I do want to test Ghost Rider on each setting as well. And then it's going to take at least a day of 24 hour average hash rates. You can't just jump into Ghost Rider and expect that's the hash rate. It has 20 mini algorithms. An example of 3900X, depending when you look at it, could hash anywhere as low as one kilohash and as high as 19 kilohash. So that's why you need an average here as a reference. You know, a 3900X is about 3.6 kilohash, average 24, and a 7950X3D is around 5.4, 5.6 kilohash on that. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But regardless, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video for some initial 9950X hash rates and power consumptions. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section. Um, and again, you know, I think I'm waiting now for more motherboards, and then I'm going to decide, do I want more? 9950 x's or do i want to stay with 7950 x's as we know these things are more expensive but i think there's something crazy that these things could end up better but it is still just too soon to tell thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one rabbit out